today's session we are talking about the today's subject of discussion is the sap for the beginners i will go through the some of the slides which has been prepared by me and then probably i will explain some of them in case you have any doubt you have any question you can write back to me in the description content of the of this video i will provide my email id as well let me start the file and then we can start the discussion okay so uh, the today we are talking about our overview of sap uh, for beginners so this is this video is intended for the people or for the students who have never worked in sap and but who has some amount of knowledge of computers and who has some amount of understanding of basic business so let's begin <clears throat> so we will uh, in the first few slides i will cover the business flow conception and maybe i will also capture the stakeholders requirement then i will go to the fundamentally what is erp what is uh, sap how it is placed as erp then a few notes i will put on sap i will talk about how sap as a erp has traveled from 1970s what are the sap brings the value for the business on the table and why it is superior than other erp system i will briefly touch upon the sap modules and i may not go in detail of all the modules because going all the module detail is a huge work sometime later we may do that but the but the important modules i will definitely touch upon we will talk about the sap architecture we will talk about the sap implementation then we will also uh, talk about the how the master data is uh, prepared in sap and i will also talk about the master data automation and i will add a few slides on s4 hana and the latest technologies which sap is now uh, bringing up along with s4 hana so because this video is going to take some time i am going to divide it in different sections and maybe a few Uh, slides i will cover in each section and i will start with the next portion with the next slide so that you know it will be easier for me also to upload in the web and it can be it can be also a interesting for the audience who is going to look at it but i would recommend you that you please go through uh, one by one chapter because if you rush through uh, some of the chapters and go to the last probably you may not be able to understand the linkage actually so to start with my name is suman basu and i have been working with sap uh, since 1998 i have worked with industry for almost uh, 35 plus years and currently i am managing as a global it procurement for a large manufacturing company so to begin with let us first talk about how the world is where erp is not there erp is a software which is called enterprise resource planning software which captures the transaction the performance of the entire business so let us imagine a situation that is business there is a business and the business does not have any erp <clears throat> so in the let's assume that it is a, in the diagram what you are seeing let's assume that it's a business which manufactures car so let's assume in the first there is a customer and customer is calling to place a order for car and obviously customer will call the sales team and the sales team will also then get in touch with the production planning team and they will also check how many cars are available in inventory if the cars are available there then they can sell the car immediately if the car is not available then they'll have to talk to the production planning and then you'll have to get the car made and the production planning people will also uh, go through the production cycle or manufacturing cycle to build that car and for that they have to build a they have to buy certain components so they have to get in charge with the purchase department and then the production planning and the purchase and the sales will have to go to another area which is uh, where they have to dispatch the car once it is made so you see when there is no erp there is lot of confusion in the organization because in the next slide what i am sh showing you 
that there is lot of criss cross of information every department has their own uh, database has their own software has their own inventory and then there is no single source of truth of data so therefore they have to ask many people to get answer of a simple, simple thing so this is not a very healthy situation I, and although it may work for small organization for for a uh, big organization or for a organization where the sales volume is quite high manually managing everything becomes very difficult so that's the genesis why the enterprise resource planning software came into market because enterprise resource planning software brings in brings into you that granularity that knowledge that connectivity between different department different people so in the uh, symbolistic diagram what i have prepared you can think that there are a lot of island and there are everyone is trying to catch a fish but with the common area from where they are catching fish is common and since there is no strategy the fish is actually getting more benefit because they know how to fool one person actually so this is something some symbolic diagram they have made now we will go in little detail about the year what is erp and how it how it is taken care so before going to erp i thought i will talk to you regarding a organization or a company so in company there are always lot of stakeholders the stakeholders are the people who are somehow related to the performance of the company or who are related to the business of the company so who are the most internal stakeholder the most internal st important uh, stakeholders are the external stakeholders because in external stakeholder there are people who are not part of your organization they will be like customers they will be like suppliers they will be like the society on which the organization is doing business there are a lot of government who will implement lot of rules and regulation which need to be followed there will be some creditors creditors are the people who will give you money to run the business and also there will be shareholders who generally manages the business and also take profit out of the business or suffer or share the losses if there is on account of that business and then in other than that there is a group of stakeholders who are actually internal stakeholders now internal stakeholders will be employees will be managers the owners of the company and their job is the both external stakeholder and internal stakeholder have one common goal they want to run the show in a systematic way and go to a particular goal of making the business profitable i because if you do not make profitable then it becomes very difficult to even sustain the business now we need to see that if that is the if so many people are there whether they are external stakeholders or internal stakeholders they will have different kind of their individual need so we need to design a erp software we need to design a common software common system by which everybody's need can be taken care of now before proceeding further to what is erp i just want to make a disclaimer that the slides what you are seeing these slides are not from me it did not made by me all of them are actually taken from internet and uh, and yes wherever possible i have provided due credit to the uh, to the author who has prepared the slide so coming back to what is erp i would like to tell you that as i was telling in the first slide that there is sales there is purchase there is finance there is manufacturing then supply chain management procurement field service hr payroll everybody has their individual need and we need a system we need a software we need a database which is common where everybody is connected and everybody's activity is bound together in a way that the common goal of the organization is taken care of there are a lot of erp in market in fact as many as 12 or 13 erps in market but today we are talk we are taking care of we are talking about sap sap is one of the erp which is one of, which is one of the largest market share and uh, so this slide i have taken from sap ag directly where they are showing that sap is a product which is working on the industry vertical wise they have pro product they have product with reference to the solution wise they have they have their offering different sap as a organization they have their offering which uh, which where they can do the 
consulting offering, their implementation offering. So they, they help customers to implement their SAP itself. And then there are other verticals like what are the modules they use that they are showing over here. And if I go to the market share, if you take the uh, uh, if you take the 5.1 billion of total ERP sale, out of that SAP alone caters to 25.6 percent of their sale. So these data I have taken from the uh, from the data published by SAP. This data was published in 2018. So today in 2021, I am sure there will be lot of changes. But yes, this data is a published information. And as you see that other than SAP, the next bigger ERP is Oracle alone. Oracle has a product which is called Oracle eBusiness app. And that's also a very good product. I have worked in Oracle as well. And they have a 8% mark, market cap. Then we have Copa, Zagar, uh, Infot is another good ERP which I have worked. And then there are a lot of uh, other players which capture the maximum 48.9%. But their individual share is very small. Some of the ERPs are actually in the cater to the small business and they are customized to the need of the small business actually. So today in our parlance, we are talking about SAP and we are seeing how we can take the SAP forward. So uh, as I told you, I will just give a very brief overview on this part of the presentation. So the last part of the present presentation, I will tell about the five gentlemen who were the founders of SAP. SAP was founded sometimes in 1970s. And these gentlemen like Hasso Platter, Klaus Tishirak, and Deantmer Hopp, Hector, they were actually at that time very young engineers. They used to work with IBM and they have a dream that they can make uh, a good software which can, which can be a, a remarkable ERP. IBM, they wanted some, they were very young engineer in their 20s, uh, 20s, 30s and they wanted some $10,000 from IBM. As the story goes, IBM did not believe them. So they then invested their own property, invested their ornament and they started one, their business from one of the garage of IBM, taking old IBM PC and they started developing this. Why I am telling this story? Because in 1980s, when SAP becomes one of the largest ERP service provider, IBM came for taking uh, the premium partnership of SAP and that was in several billion actually. So $10,000 they did not give but they have to pay some billion to become the prime partnership. Even today also IBM is the largest partner of SAP and it actually, uh, it actu actually it took that much amount of effort uh, to uh, IBM to come to do that actually. So if we, uh, a couple of journey I have uh, picked up because in SAP, if you if you see in the beginning years, SAP had a lot of releases. There were, it started with SAP 4.7, 4.7, which was in sometimes in 2018, uh, 1980 I saw. And I did not pick, pick up those. Those are, uh, those are different releases. They won, they had R1, R2, SAP R3. And finally they came to ECC. ECC was there from 19, uh, mid 1980s to 2012. SAP ECC was the uh, main module which SAP was doing. But in 2012 to 2015, there has become a major change in SAP's growth journey as they have moved in in, uh, in memory computing, SAP HANA. And then with SAP HANA, they have actually kept on adding new, new flavors in SAP. And today, SAP has come back to SAP S4 HANA with the cloud edition, which has got lot of feature, lot of lot of thing which is there you in their in their portfolio now. So I will come to this thing later. I just wanted to show you and uh, and for the brevity of the time, uh, I just go by maybe one more slide that I show you the first slide where there is no ERP. How do you go? And then when SAP is there in one organization. You see, SAP is a one of the prime, as I show you with the prime ERP. So all functions like financial, supplier, project management, supply chain, CRM, human resources, all of them gets connected with, with SAP. And we will go to that level one by one. Let me stop here. And then in the next video, I will start from the SAP module where we will have a more discussion on that actually. Thank you very much for listening to me. Be connected.
Thank you. Let me close the video here actually. Thank you very much.